Only on WCPO 9 News right now, a helping hand for those who use a prosthetic. The future may just be in grasp in a classroom at Northern Kentucky University. Amazing stuff happening there. Anchor Evan Millward's here with us to show us the research to make life a little easier. All right, how does this work? To make this fist and open it again, I didn't push a button, flip a switch, even twitch a muscle. I didn't. I just thought about making a fist. I'll be darned. Bionic arms and hands that can move like this one cost tens of thousands of dollars. Some require surgery to implant sensors. Actually, limb amputation. Enter NKU assistant professor Madi Yazdampur. Our solution was to design and develop a hybrid brain computer interface and a mind control prosthetic arm. He, another professor, and a couple of students have a National Institutes of Health grant to use this cap to <laughs> capture electroencephalography, or EEG signals from the brain. Different events in the brain cause different strengths of EEG signals. And and this, kind of thing. this thing will eventually be more stylish. Imagine you have a baseball cap, at the same time you have some small electrodes and we can capture your EEG signals. Those electrodes send the signals to a computer and it turns them into code, which activates the actuators of this 3D printed arm. I watched as a Terminator when I was a middle school student, so I'm actually a feel like uh, this is actually fascinating. Assistant professor of data science, Young Young Tao, has yeah. more altruistic aspirations than the Terminator, but it is a good comparison. I feel like I'm actually doing something, uh, the doing something like the uh, Terminator, and we are creating some like uh, uh, like a robot and can actually uh, do some like a smart stuff, like uh, something like that. Their goal is to build a better, a cheaper, a more natural bionic arm. <laughs> Our approach is completely non-invasive, so we don't need any medical procedures or any surgery. It's, it's just like you are controlling like your uh, real arm. And there's still plenty of work to do. Tao is focused on using artificial intelligence to make this work smarter. If you're thinking about like open or close arm, if the arms can like move uh, uh, real time, like uh, very fast. Like, it's, it's just like you are controlling like your uh, real arm. Yazdanpur is working on a new grant to make this hand more sensitive. We are going to add some sensors here to help people when they grab something, they touch something, we can generate a signal and convert it to vibration. And so that would help you grip something better or tell you that whatever the arm is touching is grabbing it's hot or it's cold. Again, just working to make the existing technology better. They're working to get another NIH grant to jumpstart that part of the research next, guys.